What's up guys? Welcome back to Three Pound Fish. I got a great episode today because I've been asked this question a lot. Today we're going to talk about 10 foot crappie rods and why I prefer them over any other rod. And you're about to find out. 10 footers, that's the discussion today. We're going to pitch, we're going to cast, we're going to go vertical jig. We're going to do it all and they're right there. The new Hammer 10 is in the house and uh, you know, we might talk about that too as well. Good morning. Here we go. Hey folks, welcome back. And today we're gonna to be talking about why I choose the 10 footer over any other rod on my home leg. Today we're gonna to be fishing with the new Hammer 10. I'm excited to share that with you. Let's get to the water. All right guys, this is gonna be an awesome episode. I cannot wait. I've talked about it for a long time in terms of 10 footers and why I like them. And today that's what we're gonna be kind of going over. Um, now, everybody's gonna have different ideas, different lake situations. So I totally get it. When I go to a tournament lake, a lake where it's very muddy water, um, I can get right up on those fish and I really enjoy a 13 footer. But on a semi clear body of water, We've got four to six foot of, of uh, visibility on my home leg. I love a 10 footer because I can absolutely do everything with it that I need to do. Now, even when I go to a lake like Grenada where it's muddy, when we're, there's always points of the year, summertime is in particular, that we're casting to those fish. 10 footer all day long. So even you guys from Grenada or Mississippi or those muddy water conditions when they turn a little clear, a 10 footer is incredible casting vertical jigging getting it all done so let's put some fish in the boat i'm going to show you a little bit about the hammer 10 there it is it's a beautiful morning overcast 73 degree water temperature let's do this there's our first fish first fish of the episode right there guys and that was just a small little 20 foot cast. Good, solid eater. Right there, beautiful fish. That's a post spawn black. Probably our second cast of the day. We're gonna keep a couple today just because we got a big fish fry coming up and we wanna make sure that we've got enough fish for that. So this is a great starting fish. Now we caught that with a, uh, a paddle tail. And one of the things I love the most about this Hammer 10 is the ability to really cast small baits. So this is a 132nd ounce hair jig, extremely small. And even though the Hammer 10 is robust, it truly is, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's meant so you don't have to worry about the tip breaking and all that other stuff. Um, the, what we put into the tip allows you to truly cast this guy with any size bait. This is a uh, this is 30 feet out there, and we're gonna flip this 132nd out there. This is an extremely small bait. There it is coming down on the pile. Went out there about 32 feet. Mm. That is a slab, baby. And that is on that 132nd ounce jig. They love small baits, folks. That little guy right there, that is that's part of the combo pack, but that's also, you can buy that in a single. You can just buy one of them and try it out. Uh, but, but I believe in small baits. I really do always have. Uh, and that's proof in the pudding right there, boys and girls. Let me put that in there. Let me talk to you about some stuff too. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. We're going to have a great day. We're going to put a lot of fish in the boat. And uh, I don't typically keep fish, but when we're going to do a fish fry for the neighborhood, this is the time I do. And I don't like monster fish, to be quite honest with you. I like just the right size, uh, eater size, as we call them here. So right now, let me just talk about the 10-footer. This is the Hammer 10. This is the new 10-footer from 3-Pound Fishing. You can get one of these now on the website, 3poundfishing.com. This is not the official website or the episode where I'm going to go through everything about this rod, but I can let me just talk about 10-footers in general, regardless of the brand that you purchase, that their ability to do everything that you would want it to do, pitch, vertical jig, cast, 
is exceptional. I think, you know, a lot of people get my boat and they think it's a long rod. This is actually a short rod for crappie fishing. And, um, and I do believe in the 13s and the 16s and those, and those lengths too on certain lakes and certain times. But I think overall, a 10 footer can be brought to any lake and get the job done. So that's what I like about it. And here's some of the other advantages I, I, I always thought I'd think about is that because it's such a shorter rod, because it is a lighter rod, you can set the hook on the most finicky of fish. On my lake, we have a black crappie. And so they are very finicky. It's a tick, it's very, you have to be very quick and be very difficult to do it with longer rods. Now they say you can't, but with a 10 footer, you can be as quick and nimble as possible. That's why I also promote always braid, 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 because you want to be able to set that hook immediately when those fish just, they're deciding, I mean, they might just put it in their mouth briefly and you have to be able to set the hook quick. A 10 footer allows you to do that. Braid allows you to do that. So you can check out all those products at threepoundfishing.com, but isn't that beautiful? Check that out, brand new. Just got, just came out, and um, you're gonna be seeing that at a lot of bait stores. PTG's gonna have it. So, anyway, more fish in the boat. Let's do this. Hmm. Vertical jigging. Back with that small little hair jig. Little guy. Mm -mm -mm. Slap the weight on it just because of the depth. That's a perfect ear size. Absolutely perfect. Now, what a 10 footer will do is if you drop straight out, typically, at least on my boat, every boat's going to be a little different. Mine is four foot, it goes four, four foot. So I know that if, I, if I'm vertically straight down, I'm going to be sitting at the four foot mark on that structure. You get to know your rods and where 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 you sit, right? Based on your position in the boat. And a ten footer for me is ten foot or is four foot when it's straight down. Now I know that when I pitch a a pitch a ten footer, I can get all the way out to almost twenty feet. Uh, but I prefer fourteen being the number. Ooh, he did touch it. Oh. Now, what I'm not, not showing you every single catch right now is a good fish, but what, what's happening is these fish are moving around so much, this is a solid fish, that you have to be extremely fluid. This is the big fish so far, I think. Extremely fluid in a 10 footer. That's a solid fish right there. Allows you to be fluid. When fluid, I mean being able to switch between those different techniques really quickly. And a 10 footer does that for you, it's smaller, it's compact, but it's still long enough to do that vertical jigging, which I think is critical because these fish are moving around. They come right up to the boat. And if I've got a seven footer, six footer, that's very difficult to keep away from the boat. So a 10 footer is just that perfect length. So just my thought. Again, being fluid. Now we're pitching to them. Then it will vertical. Then we got one. Oh my God, that's a really good fish. Switching it off, vertical jigging, pitching, a little bit of casting. It's almost like they really want it relatively slow. Boom. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch up to the carrot. This is also available by itself or in the combo pack. Very inexpensive, $2.50 folks worth trying them out singles unbelievable so we're going to switch it up just to see and that's we're going up to a 1 16th oh baby well i'd say it works 10 footer extremely extremely fully equipment again very important this is the hammer 10 this thing was built for this over years of, uh, a lot of stuff have gone into this for at least two years. Um, and they're finally here, very excited. Six signature series, it's called the Hammer 10. Uh, comes with a beautiful black pouch and um, a lot has gone into this rod to allow it to be fluid, to allow it to do all those type of things. And I'm a firm believer in, um, in the 10 footer and this is definitely my go-to rod 
forever and ever. The Hammer 10, lots gone into it. Sniping braid, I always go with a really, really light sniping braid. Um, on my home lake, I like to use Optima, but I always tell people that that's just my home lake. Every other lake, I use Optimized. I use Meteor. So if you're at Darbone, if you're at Grenada, if you're at any of these big lakes you follow, I really recommend the Optimized. That's what I use in all the tournaments that I do, Optimized. So the hair jigs, check them out. Combo packs, you can buy them individually. Very inexpensive, $2.50, I think. $8 for a combo pack. So you save a little money by buying four at a time. But the Hammer 10, folks, check it out. 10 footer, my go-to. I hope it's yours too. Have a great one, guys.